Hey, viewers. Welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for the latest news and insights. I'm here to keep you informed and engaged. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with crucial updates like this one. In a recent statement released on December 2nd, the Ministry of Health, MOH, in Singapore revealed a concerning development in the battle against COVID-19. The number of cases has doubled, soaring to 22,094. This significant increase took place in the week spanning from November 19th to 25th, with 10,726 cases recorded in the preceding week. It's crucial, folks, that we pay close attention and remain vigilant. Despite this surge, the MOH brings some relief by highlighting that the average daily hospitalizations and ICU cases have remained stable. The situation is evolving, and it's crucial for us to understand the factors contributing to this spike. As of November 23rd, over 70% of the cases in Singapore were attributed to the EG.5 and its sublineage 30 cents predominant subvariants. The MOH points to the year-end traveling season and waning population immunity as key contributors to this surge. This emphasizes the importance of staying cautious during the festive season. The rise in respiratory illnesses in temperate regions has also caught the MOH's attention. However, it's reassuring to know that overall cases of respiratory illnesses in Singapore have remained stable. The MH emphasizes that there's currently no indication that the predominant subvariants are more transmissible or cause more severe disease compared to other circulating variants. The MH underscores the need to stay updated with COVID-19 vaccinations. For those aged 60 and above, medically vulnerable individuals, residents of aged care facilities, and those aged 6 months and above, especially healthcare workers and caregivers of vulnerable individuals. An additional dose around one year after the last vaccine dose is recommended. This extra layer of protection is crucial in the face of the evolving situation. A similar uptick in respiratory illnesses among children and adolescents in China has been reported. The World Health Organization, WHO, emphasizes that these circulating respiratory pathogens including influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, mycoplasma pneumoniae, and adenovirus, are not unusual. Vigilance is key, and Singapore is not alone in facing these challenges. In conclusion, it's a critical time for all of us to come together, stay informed, and take the necessary precautions. What are your thoughts on this situation? How are you preparing for the year-end traveling season? Share your opinions in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. This is 2230, signing off. Stay safe, everyone.